The war in the spotlight at day two of the EU summit in Brussels. Leaders gathering uh, to focus on how to arm Ukraine. Amid a shortage of manpower and ammunition, the EU is considering using proceeds from Russian assets to help finance Kyiv's fight against Moscow. Dave Keating reports. The first day of this European Council summit didn't end up with anything like a bombshell in terms of conclusions. On one hand, they were talking about new innovative ways to fund getting weapons over to Ukraine. But the two ideas that were on the table, which is the issuance of euro bonds for defense, joint debt, that was shot down by the frugal countries, Netherlands, Germany, Austria, Denmark, Sweden, and Finland. And the other idea for using the frozen in Russian assets or at least the uh, windfall profits from those assets in order to fund weapons to Ukraine. That faced skepticism from the neutral countries on one hand, uh, Austria and the islands of Malta, Cyprus and Ireland, and also the more Russia-friendly countries, Hungary and Slovakia, who believe that arming Ukraine is unnecessarily prolonging the war. That didn't go anywhere either. Uh, that's going to be put forward to another discussion, another time, uh, possibly at the next European Council summit in April. Equally on this uh, controversy over ending free access for agricultural products from Ukraine, that's been put off to agriculture ministers who will be meeting here on Tuesday uh, here in Brussels. Uh, on the situation in the Middle East, we got a bit of movement. We did get the most forthright statements on the situation that we've seen thus far from the European Union, with leaders saying they were appalled by the humanitarian situation situation, calling for a continuing work on the two-state solution uh, and also saying that the, 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 the situation is unacceptable. However, we really don't see anything in the conclusions that were issued last night that would notably move the needle. And international observers have said that this really continues the EU in the same track it's been on as kind of an irrelevant power in the Middle East conflict. Nothing in these statements that came out last night would be so shocking uh, as to change the situation. The problem is you have such differing opinions within the European Union that in these council conclusions we keep ending up with the lowest common denominator in terms of what can be agreed. So overall yesterday, not much of a result. Today they're going to be talking about the economy. We're going to have a meeting of the countries that are in the Eurozone, those countries that use the Euro. We're expecting a fairly short discussion today, uh, but we'll see uh, economic issues may seem easy compared to some of the geopolitical issues that the EU is facing. However, uh, there are certainly economic worries that the EU has at the moment, which will be discussed today.